2007, a year that foreshadowed events that would soon drastically change the world's status quo. On April 7, the menace of the Great Recession was imminent, with New Century Financial declaring Chapter 11 bankruptcy due to the company's loan policies becoming lax and careless. In the technology sector, DARPA creates its grand challenge, a program that jumpstarts innovations that will lead to today's driverless cars. Across the United States, American citizens demand that their sons and brothers return from Operation Enduring Freedom, which has cost the lives of 475 servicemen. Across the world, the people of Taiwan demand recognition from the United Nations. The first iPhone is released this year, and business magnate Donald Trump went head-to-head -head with Vince McMahon at WrestleMania 23. On April 25, 2007, occurred an event that shocked the animation industry to its knees. It was not only the first Filipino cartoon ever produced, but it was also infamous on release to the point that to this day, the mere mention of this show produces feelings of joy, disgust, and morbid curiosity. It's the Nutjack. The Nutjack, created by Ramon Lopez and Jesse Hernandez, was a show heavily criticized for its bad animation, or more so, lack thereof, crude humor, and perceived laziness throughout the whole production. Despite the backlash against the show, it was renewed for a second season, which premiered on April 21, 2011. The second season would air back-to-back -back new episodes every Thursday until it finally met its demise on May 31st. For a while, it seemed all was over, and the rest of the animation industry could rejoice in their titles released that year such as The Smurfs, Cars 2, and Mars Needs Moms. The Nutjack was no more. Sometime in 2016, however, society decided to revive the Nut Shack. It is in fact the Peanut House! Yet not in the traditional method of reviving cancelled shows. Its revival was not a reboot, nor a remastered collection of episodes, but rather a slew of memes, remixes, and edits mostly aimed at its theme song. Fun was had by all, until the inevitable came. Shack. The Nut Shack. This has got to be one of the most poorly animated and poorly written shows of the 21st century. God damn. Online cartoon reviewers came around to scrutinize the show. Universally, it was regarded as one of the worst animated shows of all time, having no redeeming qualities whatsoever. But, with all the critiques about the show being true, there had to be something that the show did right. And as I looked into it, I found one thing the show had that many pieces of media nowadays fail to have. It's something that is part of the artistic process, and many times can either be diluted or even removed entirely by so-called executives. The Nutjack had soul. Everybody in the Bay, as Ilipinos, as youngsters growing up, we all gone through that, you know what I'm saying? Soul, or dare I say, heart, is possibly the only redeeming factor about this show. But soul isn't something to be underestimated. After all, it is the essence of most works of art, and demonstrates that the work in question was made by artists who enjoyed working on it. The Nutjack, believe it or not, was made with love, and a very low budget. Add in a crew of only about 12 to 15 people, according to the credits at the end of each episode, and you get what seems to be a very sloppy mess. But the sloppy mess is more likely to be a result of a lack of money, rather than a lack of effort. Effort was put forward where they could. For example, the Nutjack had its own comprehensive website, complete with forums, pictures, and models for the fans to enjoy. The people who made this show loved working on it. With a crew that small, it's very hard to maintain cohesion if people dislike the work environment, which, actually, appear to be very healthy. Many cast and crew often doubled up on jobs and roles. In many instances, the same people who would storyboard would also voice multiple characters, draw up reference sheets, and proofread the episode. No matter how stupid or offensive the plot of the episode was, the Nutjack team collaborated to get it done. 
This cohesion is only possible with a tight-knit group that enjoys what they're doing. When I first read the, the very first script, I was so ashamed. Like, oh my god, is this gonna air? But if the Nutshack had heart, why is it still considered a bad show? Unfortunately, while soul is a very important component to have when creating media, it does not guarantee a smash hit. At the end of the day, the animation was indeed lacking, the plots and jokes incredibly crude, and the substance, well, nearly non-existent. The Nutshack was not made for a general audience. It's hard to say if it was made for a specific audience at all, but it was made with no regard for societal rules. It didn't have to worry about conforming to network standards. It hardly cared whether it was making a statement or just writing a joke for the sake of a cheap and guilty laugh. I love this job. Ah, they don't even pay me. The Nutshack only cared about pleasing itself and its fans. Well, anyways, guys, that's it for today. Have a good day, good night, wherever you guys are, and I'll see you guys later.